Okay, ladies and gents, uh, look at this map. This is Pilgrim's Nothing, which originated from a joke. It was not meant to be an actually good map. Many years ago, I first saw this, and it was just a surprise. Um, anyways, we're here. Uh, we're, we're casting it now because we are have since experienced this map is absolutely fantastic. Basically, Ducks, one of my mods, created this. Um, and we played Pilgrims all the time, and then we played Force Nothing all the time, and then Pilgrims Nothing was born. So this is a combination of Force Nothing and Pilgrims. There is no stone, there is no gold on the map, and then of course my favorite fish surrounding all these islands is Salmon. Um, now, we have quite a few players who are playing in their first community game here, and I do not know how long people have watched me. It is possible they've watched for five plus years, it's also possible they've maybe just watched for a year or two. And since we don't do Pilgrim's Nothing that much, and since Pilgrim's Nothing is really unique, I feel like we're going to see a very wide variety in, in how they end up starting here. Now, to make matters even more complicated for them, this is not exploding kings, but it's exploding villagers. So if a villager dies, it will explode, and that could lead to more chain reactions and... We've seen instances where a hundred units have just disappeared on the map because everyone will be in a line on these wood lines. So, uh, interesting start here from Vic. Vic has actually opted to place the TC here. And I'm a little concerned for Vic because if Vic doesn't have the wood to make a lumber camp, <laughs> um... Vic could be in trouble. I mean, in general, TCing right away gives you more vills, but there's just not a lot of stuff here. <laughs> okay, so starting with our introduction, here's Vic. Um, and Vic is playing as the Persians. At least Persians start with additional wood in the bank. Additional food and additional wood is is kind of nice. Over here in the in the south, we've got Cryptic XL, who's playing as the Incas. And guys. I don't think you're ready for this. You ready? Wait for it. W nope. Wait. Patience. Be patient now. This is going to blow your mind. You ready? Llama. Yep, there's the llama. And purple's here to see the llama. And purple starting to chat to people already. I appreciate the fact you guys are trying to play Diplo, but maybe build up your base first? Rumpelstiltskin says, uh... Hey, this is just to you. We are next to each other. I'm a bit lower elo, but I will support you. Friends to the end. Okay, purple, you got to collect some resources. Anyways, um, so there's red. Okay, cryptic. Um, in the teal, we have Berbers for Fravum. In the yellow, we have Luwap, Luwap for him, playing as the Lithuanians. In the green, we have Isa Bolatini. Um, in, in, and hasn't built the TC. Isa, do you have the wood? Oh, no! Isaac doesn't have wood. Again, it, it's, it's so tricky. But Isa made a dock and made two fishing ships because I'm always like, guys, you got a dock and you got to add fish. It's super helpful. Make sure you do it. But Isa has no wood now. Isa has 62 wood. Green says, my first game, I forgot to do a lumber camp. Can't make a TC. Okay, there is a way that you could save yourself with this, okay? So you chop as many trees as you can, as much wood as you can, and then you garrison in an allies TC. It actually would give green those resources. But I don't know if anyone here is experienced enough to give green that tip. But yes, if you garrison in an allies TC, you actually receive the resources, regardless if it's food or wood. That, or you could just wait here forever and wait for someone to send you wood later. No one has even responded to green. No one noticed. That's just horrible. Anyways, um, okay. In the orange over here, we have uh, Leckerfietzen playing as the Poles. In the blue, we uh, that's Vic's villagers. We introduced Vic. In the gray, we have Agramus playing as the Goths. In the purple, we have Rumpelstiltskin playing as the Koreans. Yes, greatly concerned for Green, who made an outpost and now has even less wood and is sailing around with the king right now. 
Ah. Oh. I don't know what's happening. The green says, it would be great if somebody could borrow me or lend me 70 wood. Well, that's going to take some time because they can't send you any wood until the next stage, Green. But you could just wait around and just stare at the trees for now. All right. So, did I miss anybody? I think I got everybody. But yeah, uh, it doesn't seem very logical that you could garrison in someone else's TC and receive the wood. Unfortunately, Green doesn't know that. The other thing, too, is that Green... Hey, this is exploding bills, guys. So, <laughs> if Blue were to delete this vill, okay, all the vills in this row would die. It, it would go the whole way down, pretty much. I guess there's a gap here. But the chain reactions can be something else. So, obviously, keep an eye out for it. And no one's going to want you to send your villagers. Uh, no one's going to allow you to get villagers next to their town center, if that's the case. So, anyways, um, you know, Gray hasn't allied anyone. Blue hasn't allied a ton of people. I suggest that they all just ally each other. We'll see what happens. Green is now on the move. Again, if I'm yellow, I don't want villagers that explode going near my town center where my king is. And Teal says, come to me, Green. I'm allied. So Teal's being very nice here. But no one has said the situation to Green. Green, are you listening to the stream right now? You listen to the stream? Look at the wood. We're on a couple minute delay. Listen, it's okay if you are. Just close it from here on out. I'm not supposed to be listening, but suddenly Green gained the knowledge. <laughs> I didn't clarify before this one. Please close the stream. That to me <laughs> feels like incredibly suspicious timing. It is possible that Green also was like, holy crap, I'm completely dead. I wonder what T90 is saying about it and then pulled it up. But now Green got the wood and now Green can make a lumber camp. So if you ever find yourself in a pickle... You can do that trick right there. Anyways. And yellow says player three, were you able to drop off? And yeah, so now green can build up. So, I mean, hey, green, the bright side is you've had these two fishing ships eating all the salmon. Yeah, it's also possible green received a message. I might have just missed it. All right, I might have just missed it. There's been a lot of messages here. So, um, not really that big a deal for me. But we'll see what happens later. Okay, so, um... You know what's really fun about this map? You travel through the trees. You keep moving. It's just, it's just trees. It's just peace. Imagine spending your whole life chopping through these trees. It's nothing but the same old boring freaking bamboo. And you keep moving. And you keep moving. And you keep moving. And... There's a relic with three monkeys. Crazy, right? Relic with three monkeys. And those monkeys will attack you. These are a little furious, the monkey boys. Uh, they won't, however, attack monks. And that is the only relic on the map, which means it will trigger a, a relic victory if you get it. Highly suggest, if you're okay with my old commentary and then old graphics, to go watch The Legend of Noob Nothing. Noob Nothing was not a skilled player, but Noob Nothing made it here and tried to win with the Relic victory. It was super fun. So, what's the eco looking like right now? Um, well, Green obviously behind, because Green hasn't had a TC. And Cryptic says, I have somebody blowing up my fishing ships. Wait, what? Ooh. Blue has eight kills. So, the thing about this, guys, is that uh, villagers and fishing ships actually explode. A lot of people don't realize that with this mod, that that is the case. Hey guys, we are close to each other. Let's form an alliance as Rumpelstiltskin. What I find interesting is because so many of these players are new to the game, you can just tell these players are so ready for the Diplo. And I've given them a setting which kind of sucks for Diplo initially. Like, it's really tough. To, you got to focus on your start. But they're going to town with the Diplo. These are people that have been watching games and they've been like, when my moment's there, I'm not going to squander it. So, the, the big one right now who I'm not seeing yes. chat too much is Gray. Gray is the exception. Agrimus here is just fishing. 
and adding villagers and not allying anybody. Vic and Teal have both allied only some players. Hmm. Anyways, we'll see how things end up going here. The best way to get gold on a map with no gold is to trade. And the best way to get gold so you can afford the trade carts would be a market. And there's the market from yellow. I'll show the stockpiles right now. So no one has sold anything at the market yet. How does Fravum have two gold workers? Why does Capture Age think there's two gold workers for Fravum? Oh, because there's literally trade cards. Oh, okay, I'm stupid. Fravum spent the 100 gold that you start with on trade cogs. Yeah, what you do, guys, is you sell off wood because there's going to be tons of wood. And you, Fravum's actually doing that right now as well. And then what I would also suggest is I would say sell food because you're going to have fish available as well. So if food's a good price, sell some food too. And then have some docks and then just trade cog across the map. This whole map should be filled with, with uh, trade cogs. That'd be my, um, that would be my tip. Someone's asking if there's a delay with villager explosions. So it's like delete, boom. That much of a delay. Delete, boom. Now nah, you're good, Frozen. I, I was just, I was just trolling. Um, did I just see I love you in the chat? Hey, Yellow, just want, just to you, want to trade? Also team up, we are close. Yellow says, yeah, let's do it. And purple says, perfect. Love you. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Um, this is fun. A little traffic jam there. Uh, King. Oh, whoa, what just happened there? That was an explosion. Are those fishing ships? I think we're seeing fishing ships explode. Oh. Yellow tried to kill Blue's TC. Oh, Yellow with the sneaky move. I mean, it would take a lot of fishing ships for that to happen. But yeah, there's kind of an idea of the delay once a fishing ship goes down and the explosion. It's very similar to, to the villagers. It's funny. I think had I not mentioned before the game that fishing ships explode, no one would have done this. But I like the fact that people listen to me. That makes me happy. So everyone's in a line, right? Everyone's kind of lined up and they're slowly chopping through the trees. Important, Most important stat right now is gold workers and this always shows the top three of everything. And I think Fravum is going to be in a, with a re have a really good position. Sorry, I can't speak. Because 14 gold workers versus three at number two is just a massive lead. 60 gold per trip should bring you in gold for a long time. But... I'm not sure how, you know, the efficient the trade path is. It looks like we do have a longer journey now. Teal coming from these docks. But if you could do it, I would even say maybe make some docks over here. Because how much gold you get from trade is solely based on the distance. Villager explosion radius is maybe about a tile. Like, I think if this villager were to die right here, it might not hit this. But trust me, we'll know. Like, we'll probably... We're not going to miss it if it's on a wood line. One of my favorite moments from this was when we had a situation like this. and But it was like six players in a line. And somebody uh, just walked in there and deleted one. And the chain reaction was insane. And Red says, I've got blue blowing me up. So that's not happening here. I guess blue? Yellow? Maybe red have continued to blow each other up over here. You seen that? <laughs> they keep sabotaging each other's fishing ships over here. <laughs> I think green caught some of that too. Look, green got hit. Okay, who's the one doing this? Oh, blue's got 40 kills. That is definitely Vic. Uh, blue, your king is out here. <laughs> I love that. I love the sabotage. <laughs> Actually, I think fishing ships have a bit more of a delay on the explosions. Oh, look, green is here. Green is so far behind already. 
And Green has brought villagers here. <laughs> you get them, guys. You get them. Vic, this is what we call getting a taste of your own medicine. Wow. Okay. I'm telling you, though, guys. Like, if Blue... If anyone wants to be a real jerk, they need to just transport over here in one explosion. The whole wood line's gone. It's so cool. Oh, man. Castlage is in for two players now. Fravum and Le... Lekir... Le Lekker... Lekker. Okay. We'll just leave it at Lekker. New TCs could come up, which means more villagers, obviously. And then more villagers means you can chop through more trees. Blue. Could go navy. Like, could see players doing that. Uh, here we have a random teal dock being attacked by Gray Spearman for whatever reason. And Gray did ally people, which is Gray didn't ally everyone. Seems like a lot of people also allied teal, but teal didn't return the favor. Not a strategy I would suggest for games. I have said in basically every every time I've ever seen this, just ally everyone at the start. Also, I love how Red has kept the Llama alive. I feel like this is going to give Red a big boost later on. But yeah, trade on water, the most important thing here. And there's been a lot of action in the middle. Knowing Vic, Vic is going to delete a fishing ship here, right? One fishing ship to kill 30 of them? Too tempting. Vic may be thinking about getting the king off the island here with all the action on water. We shall see, but eco count right now, Gray's at 91. Gray is fish trapping like a madman. Also attacking with spears. And, uh, well, fishing ships are actually going down. Oh god, explosion incoming. Oh, wow. Uh-oh. Okay, well, I mean, that's one way to clear up galleys, I guess. Is that a mangonel? We've got siege on this island? <laughs> whoa, whoa! What the crap, Gray? <laughs> Look at how many spearmen Gray has. Like I said, also, I think we just missed Green losing all the fishing ships. I have to go back because I really wanted to see that. Okay, this is, this is it. I was right. Blue is going to notice this. Here we go. Oh, man. I feel so bad for green. That's so much food. Um, But yeah, like... Anyways, as I feel bad for green now... I, I figured these people would come in with a different approach. Because these guys probably haven't played it before. I mean, who has? I think a lot of people watch these maps. No one really plays them. Transporting spears. I mean, he's gonna go for blue, yes. right? He might go for gray because gray is attacking all the fish. Who knows? Uh, but people have have singled out blue as a bully, and they're all talking about him. And green, poor green, had such a rough start. Well played, to green to recover. So he's destroying my fishing ships without a reason at all. So yeah, fortunately for blue, blue is Persian, so the TC has a lot more HP, so blue should be fine. But yes. Blue's King is inside of that TC, so it's kind of a risky spot to be in. Um, all right. More and more villagers being made. More and more trade cogs on the field, or out of the field, and in the water. Um, Gray says, I need gold. I can't advance. Well, I did say to you guys, as a tip before, your best bet is to use the market and then trade with the gold. I tried to give people tips because I saw the names and I was like, I don't recognize most of these names. People are going to have questions. So, Gray, you have the ability to make a market. If you make a market, you can sell some of that food and get the gold. But for now, <laughs> Gray has 31 spearmen that aren't in transport ships. <laughs> I want Gray to go to a woodline somewhere and poke down a vill. We are going to see so many units die in a second. Gray is 48 military in feudal age. And has to painstakingly load up five spearmen per transport. <laughs> oh no. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> there it is! That 
That's what I wanted so badly. It had to have been. It had to have been blue. Who was it? No, blue was there. Who started this? And then we have to watch it again. Who was it? Oh my goodness. Okay, that was a good one. It all started here. All right. It's peaceful here. I mean, we know what happens, right? I just gotta see who did it. Come on. Did they go back too far? Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Was that gray? Did gray do that by accident? <laughs> I... I don't know why Gray did that, but that is not making life much easier for Gray. Gray just says, what? As everything gets destroyed. And Gray then makes a new lumber camp, not realizing there's no more trees there because there's no vision in that area. So, yeah, a lot of death and destruction just happened. Meanwhile, we've got Navy from Red. <laughs> Gray is coming to grips with reality at the moment. And Purple says... Well, Gray, that was not optional. I assume Purple meant to say optimal, but optional, optimal. You know, it's all the same. Gray says I didn't do that. I'm pretty sure you did. That was a Gray villager. So I'm not sure. Maybe Gray tried to delete something else and had a villager selected. But oh my goodness. <laughs> Here comes the, the giant spear transport. And uh, obviously, it's going to set a lot of players back here. Economically, yellow's got the lead right now. And what's the plan here, green? How are you going to defend from the Great Spearman army? Okay. Now, what's funny is if green deletes two villagers there, all those transports go down. Or a fishing ship, which would be pretty epic. But then you lose all your fishing ships. Oh my god, Green's King is there. The King's gotta get out of here. Dude, you do not need to hang out with the common folk here, King. They are terrifying. Uh-oh. Teal sees this. And Gray is just gonna try and hop to the shoreline here before the ships go down. One at a time, one after the other. Come on, Spearman. There you go. Okay. We're gonna see villagers die to these Spearmen. And I think we know exactly what happens after the villagers die. Uh, it's just gonna take some time... And where they die does matter here. Okay. I Feeling pretty bad for Yellow. Everyone's lined up for the sniping here. Yellow currently has the eco lead. Even after losing those villagers. There's one villager that went down. But it wasn't next to other villagers. And Yellow might actually end up being okay from this. It could have been worse at least. Here, more villagers will die. And here, yellow's kind of safe. So, listen, this game has been very interesting. Blue decided to try and, like, gang up on people's fishing ships. Gray accidentally deleted a villager. I don't even think Gray did that intentionally because it's really hurt Gray. Gray doesn't know a market exists and hasn't sold anything to get gold. So, is really struggling for that reason. Um, but right now, Red is trying to gang up and kill Blue. Blue's King is actually here, guys. Blue's King is actually in this transport ship. So, you know, I mean, you do have some people who've been pretty peaceful. I was expecting a lot more peace, but we really haven't seen a whole lot this game. And obviously, Green spent too much wood in the early game and thankfully was able to recover. Ah, uh, okay, so Green says how I can't do a market. So this could be Gray's problem too. You need to make a mill before you can make a market in this game. It's super weird. But, you know, now Purple responds and says you need a mill. Would be kind of interesting. Maybe Gray will see that. And then maybe Gray will make a mill somewhere and realize the same. And Purple says took me a long minute to figure that one out. But yeah, Blue is not well liked. That much I know. I think Blue is actually using fishing ships like demos right now inside of these docks. Which is actually a pretty smart tactic. Um, I don't know what Arn saw there that added to any confusion. But there's the market now for green. 
Yellow is about to be in the Imperial Age, and yellow also has the greater economy. But the bigger the economy, the bigger the explosion if someone walks into your base and deletes a vill. So, who knows how things will go. Oh, the transport ship is stuck! The transport ship is on land! It's been beached! Alright, well, not really a transport ship anymore. Oh! I don't know who that was. That is a way, guys, that is a strategy. If you want to clear your way through the trees, just go one by one and sacrifice villagers. Green is asking Orange if Orange is a good neighbor. We'll see about that. Blue continuing to add random fishing ships to try and kill Red's navy. Who is attacking who right now? Can't keep track of this map. Purple, I'm sorry. But I think viewers will say later, I, it's at least adding to some viewing enjoyment. It is rather hard to follow for us as well. This, These guys are lower ranked than some community game players are. But they're moving. They're doing stuff all the time. <laughs> Poor Gray still doesn't know that how to get a market. <laughs> what? Gray just deletes the spearman. Did I miss an explosion there? Was there a villager in there? What? Wait, wait, hold, hold on, what? I gotta zoom in. I'm so confused. Gray just deleted them because Gray said I need population space. Okay, got it. And Gray, oh, Gray's like, I didn't mean to make them there. I wanted to make them here. Oh, God. The last thing I expected was feudal age spearmen ransacking people's wood lines. All right, so let's talk trade again, and let's talk gold workers. There are there's one, two, three, four, five. Five people who have figured out trade. Blue is a lost cause. Gray is kind of a lost cause. Green is there with two somewhere. So that's going <laughs> to... There, there she, there they go. Uh, you know, I feel as though it's going to take some time. But, you know, the, the five players have figured out how to get gold. They've got a decent amount of it. And yellow especially is, is in the Imperial Age, so... Yellow is really strong. Um, I think blue and gray are both just going to be these chaotic forces that don't know what in the world they're doing. So they're just going to attack people. And on these wood lines, it's going to be awful. Um, Purple's King Refuge is being attacked as there was an explosion. But again, I've got to go back and figure out exactly what caused that. Who started it? That's gray. That it was gray. Okay, so the other one was probably intentional, but gray was smarter with it this time and did it in a way that only affected purple. Because Ray walked into purple's wood line. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> gray probably thinks goths don't get a market. Maybe. Anyways, purple's not happy about it. Purple, there's one way that you can return the favor here. Do you have any guesses as to... <laughs> Do you have any guesses as to what that is? I love how Gray's response is as to why is only one can remain. Like, Gray, you don't even know a market exists, and you're still in feudal age making spearmen, you crazy. <laughs> Gray's like, I'll win this game no matter how hard it is. No matter how high the obstacle, I will get past it. This is so chaotic. This is the most chaotic Pilgrim's Nothing game we've ever had. And we've had some crazy ones, man. So I guess Purple has to try and escape. Purple's king is getting out of here. Um, But Purple, like, at the same time, I feel like you should just walk into... Whoa, that's trippy. I feel like you should walk into Gray's eco and delete a villager. I think purples, I think purples realize this now. Like, yeah, how do you like it? It costs one villager. And Gray's trying to, Gray's trying to get out in front of it. Nope. Yep, and there you go. Gray loses the whole wood line. And things are now pretty bad for Gray as well. Blue's TC is being attacked. The king for blue is in this TC, though. And purple's king is now in blue's TC. And blue obviously could lose a bunch of villagers here at any point in time. And Teal's going to try it here. Blue still has no trade. 
Blue has not had many friends this game, and I'm not sure what Blue was expecting when Blue is just deleting fishing ships on people. This game has not made a lot of sense. For, for some. It's not been peaceful for many. Like, everyone's gone through a real struggle at times. I think, like, maybe Cryptic has been the player has been the safest, but even his fish have died. He had to make Navy against Blue over here. Here comes Blue. Th these are just fishing ships to go kill the galleys. Like, that's the only reason this is coming in. These aren't going anywhere to fish. As Orange actually has some knights inside of a transport right now. What in the world? Blue's making war galleys, though. So it will actually have some form of navy. Hard to get war galley, though, when you have... Uh... Zero on gold. Okay, so Gray is attacking Purple's TC with Spearman, like we all expected. Gray is allied with Blue, which actually makes a whole lot of sense, because Gray and Blue have been the two aggressors. Um, Purple's going to relocate now. And, I mean, Purple's in a rough spot at the moment. Teal has been in the Imperial Age for a while, has Galleon now to control the seas. Teal also has been trading this way, so Teal... Controlling the water with the navy could be really good for the trade. Red's now on Galleon 2. So those two are some of my favorites. And Gray hasn't thought to ask at any point again, like... How did you guys get gold? <laughs> Gray, Gray's like, well, some people are just dealt a bad hand in life. Let's just continue. <laughs> Gray is... <laughs> yes. Guys... Imagine this being your community game. <laughs> like, it's not like this was planned. <laughs> he didn't... He didn't really know. I'm sure what to do. But Gray's like, damn it, I'm gonna try. I don't care. <laughs> 5,000 food could easily get gold to go castle. Um, purple goes to yellow. Can I stash my king next to you? Gray is killing me right now. Which is true. Um, I guess trade cogs are going to die because fishing ships are exploding. Oh, what a mess, dude. <laughs> what a mess. Oh, these fishing ships are like landmines. But purple's losing trade to teal. I don't even understand why. It's just teal never really liked purple for some reason at the start. <laughs> and I, I... Listen, I think the favorite to win this game is the player who is going to get out of this mess, okay? Did I say land mine? Okay, you know what I meant. Okay, it's a sea mine. They're playing uh, playing battleship over here. Or minesweeper, I don't know. Like, this is great. To chop all the trees like this, it looks really pretty. But you know what's better than that is onagers. And um, yellow's doing that now. And then you, you, you just wall it up, and then you get as far away from the edge as possible. And then you can build up space. You can even farm here for food so you don't have to fish trap. Oh god, purple just lost a TC over here. And Gray's not even chatting! Like, Gray's just going in like a madman all the time! And Gray kinda is... Like, Gray's in feudal, and Gray's actually done a really good job, all things considered. More eco than purple. And purple says, can we turn on gray? Now, poor purple. I feel like people have had so many problems of their own that they haven't really been able to lend purple a hand. I'm still waiting for blue to lose a villager here. Like, on this, on this wood line. Over here would be horrible. Oh, it's gonna happen. Blue is so dead. Blue is gonna struggle. The only thing that's good for blue right now is that the... And where's the king? Oh, that's trouble. Yeah. The only thing that's good for blue is that Persian TCs and docks have more HP. But now that there's cannon galleons, just a couple villagers need to go down and blue will lose everything here. But I feel like blue kind of started it, in all honesty. Fravum, who's been very active, is being asked, though, by Orange, why are you attacking me? And I, I, I don't know the answer to that. But, you know, if you feel like you're in a good position... Maybe you just want to further that and kill a couple more people. I'm not getting the impression that people like me. This is blue. 
that would be a good take and a good read on the situation here. <laughs> Red says, what gave that away? <laughs> and purple is going to try and leave here because purple's thinking I chose the wrong guy to hide with and purple can't actually leave because blue is wall. Poor purple. <laughs> oh no. And then there's going to be an explosion soon, guys. Here it is. This mod is amazing. <laughs> this mod is incredible. Thank God we can actually spectate with it. The funny thing is, that's Blue's MTC. Blue still might make it to Imp. Oh no, but Purple, don't stand next to the villagers. Do not do that. That would be a mistake. Uh, Purple can now escape, but then I guess you run into the Great Spearman army. There's been explosions over here in the meantime as well. And... Oh my goodness! Hold on a second! <laughs> Who was that? Oh, that's a heads up play right there. So Orange... I feel so bad for Purple. Orange notices this and realizes the potential, deletes one villager, and with it, kills blue and kills purple. So, well played. Um, anyways, Rumpelstiltskin, not gonna be too pleased to see Gray still alive. Gray will probably be in Feud Lage forever here. Both of those kills should be credited to Orange. And now we have a big explosion over here because I think Teal turned on Yellow, which is a big deal because they're right next to each other here. And, you know, we could see trebuchets. We could see a whole lot of fighting. I'd expect Bombard Cannons too. Yeah, there's Bombard Cannons. And Yellow might be out of this quick if Yellow doesn't get army. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Man, the potential to sabotage players is just insane when the economies get this large. Like, a villager here. Boom. Villager here. Villager here. Oh, Grace TC is being attacked. Gray, if you get to the shoreline, you're actually okay. Nobody likes Gray either. Gray's gonna be on the shoreline for the time being. Okay, so Gray is okay. Unless he accidentally deletes the villager, then Gray will die. Um, I mean, just cut as far away from this as possible. The, the, the explosions from the fish kill a lot of the navy. What in the world, man? Bombard cannons took out a castle. Yellow still with no resistance. Yellow still doesn't seem to know that Teal's actually doing this. Yellow right now turns on Teal. Okay. I feel like everyone in this game is in a very a different state of death. Like no one has is, is really been able to have a good time. Um again, Gray is to maybe find a new TC to hide in. You definitely would want to have the king in the TC if you can. There's navy everywhere, so anyone who has houses or trade or anything on water is screwed. And I think yellow's in trouble, because yellow's gonna... If Teal were to just sit in the trade, it would be horrible. It's funny how Orange says, I killed blue, and doesn't realize... It doesn't mention that... That Orange also had ended up killing purple. Um... Uh, well, latest you attack the wrong group of villagers there. That's something you have to be careful of. So do not raid wood lines with an entire group. Just raid a wood line with like one unit. The temptation though, like it, this completely changes how you play the game, right? Because the temptation is going to be to run into the opponent's eco. There are the bomber cannons. I guess you could go kill the bomber cannons. And the trebs are here as well. So the latest will try and attack the trebs, which right now are going to be repaired by these villagers. I really don't know what to think at the moment. Like, this is tough. Again, if Teal actually sits into the trade, it should be awesome. Wait a second, red's now turned on yellow? The trade cogs are exploding? Um, now... Okay, the king was in there for Teal, and Teal's been attacked. This is crazy! This is crazy! Guys, Gray might actually win this game with the way this is going, because everyone's getting picked off. 
And again, this has got to be too tempting. Like, someone's going to explode all this at some point. What in the world? Green's got a villager here, which Yellow might need to be careful with. And now Teal is here using the navy against Yellow. Might be the end for Yellow, actually, now that I think about it. Even without losing the trade. Actually, did lose the trade to Red. Okay. So, horrible situation to be in if you're Yellow. Teal kind of got the jump here and started with some good momentum. Yellow is trying to cut to freedom right now. But hard to do that when, you know, your buildings are being attacked. 141 eco for green. All of it is incredibly smushed. And war galleys can't leave. And it's just, just something special. But for the... Oh, go! Run with your king! <laughs> I was going to say, for the time being, yellow is actually fine. But he kills villagers next to the treb. And his king had come along for the ride. So now yellow is dead. To the players that have died this far, I just want to say... I'm sorry, but also thank you because this game has been fantastic. Um, Teal seems to, to really know, use these villagers offensively, and I don't know about bringing your cavalier here, but sure, why not? Uh, who needs them anyways? Um, there they go. Oh yeah, GG yellow. So red and teal are a team, which is like really strong. They're the top two players remaining. They also border each other here. What would be funny is anyone who's allied with purple can actually delete purple buildings and units. So you could, if the time was right, delete a purple villager if you were anyone who is allied to purple. So like orange. Well, wait. Yeah, orange. Orange says to you, red, let's try and take teal out. I can help you. And then red says that was my plan. What's gray up to? <laughs> <laughs> Gray is making more houses right now. Yep, just making more houses here, making more houses here. <laughs> Gray is the definite... Oh, green, delete a fishing ship, please. Somebody, help me out. Oh, why would you ever go through there, Red? <laughs> that is so risky. Oh, my goodness. Um... Gray is the definition of this is my life now. <laughs> he just never really thought the circumstances could change. Look at Gray's resources. Yeah, his resources are still good enough to go castle age if he just knows he can make a market. But he probably tried to build a market and couldn't build it because you need a mill first and there was no natural reason for them to make a mill here. He really should be thinking, how do I farm? Right? And then maybe he'll make a mill at some point, but... But he sees other people with markets, so yeah, he's probably assuming that it's just you can't make markets with this civilization. The resources are pretty insane for Teal and for Red. And they're probably going to end up against each other in this game. There's a mod that lets scouts kidnap villagers. Yeah, I played it before. Uh, I do have a couple of videos with it. That's one way to take care of Cavalier and a Treb. Well played, Orange. Red till the end. Red says, yeah. Teal says, yeah. Who do you want? And then Cryptic says, green. I mean, green is so easy to kill because everything's so clumped. Like, gr green could lose 100 pop in a second. Oh, here it goes. Oh, the wood line didn't happen, but the fishing ships will. So there's definitely more of a delay on the fishing ship explosion when compared to the villagers. But yep, slowly but surely, everything that green built up here is going to go down. And green turns on red, but unfortunately the damage has been done. And now teal is turned as well, and green is going to lose the rest of the eco. And green says, why, bro? And green, why anything? Honestly, what? why anything that's happened in this game? I'm so sorry. Red apologizes, but it is a war game, and people want victories. And green's got to find a way to counter this. But red is kind of protected by teal's presence here. So it's going to be really tricky to get any type of counter in. Meanwhile, gray is just building up houses. 
I keep waiting to look over here and see Grave of the Market. The fireworks have been going off here. So, yeah, you go, you go there, Green. <laughs> Megan Elegant's Galleon. So, I, I feel like there's no way that these two get taken down if they're always fighting together. Green is in a weak spot now. Um, Orange has never really been in a great position. Oh god, Gray is here. Gray is here with 115 Spearmen, people! 115! And Gray says, let me pass. Not, hey, how'd you get a market? <laughs> just let me pass. Thank you. The ultimate just passing. Feudal Age Spearmen, one hour and ten minutes into the game. And Gray is ready to go. Gray's like, guys, where do you need spears? Because I'm here to help. I heard you're against the Huns. Okay, so Gray's like kind of against everybody. So Gray's trying to break through Green's wall. Green, can you just bring a Vill here, please? There's 60 units stacked there. I think Gray just wants to kill stuff. So Gray's probably just <laughs> going to attack Orange now. Okay, Gray's going to pass. Oh! 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 Oh, oh, oh! Orange with the safe! Orange with bomber cannons has killed the menace! Has grilled, killed the great spear menace! And Orange just couldn't resist. Well, well played, Orange, because Gray was about to kill your eco. Dang, man! Whoa, that was sneaky. I like that. Gray didn't have a garrison. I'm a little bummed because I was really enjoying Gray's hysterics, but... Anyways, now there's four people left. And let's face it, a couple things could have gone differently for Gray in this game, but Gray was still fun to have. The green guys was was hoping to build up some type of attack earlier. It was making some Tarkins. <laughs> and um, I never really saw them go anywhere. I think Green's going to try and get over to Teal's Woodline or something. Red has Kamiyooks loading up into transport ships. Which now has to be going to green. Right? Because the water control's here. I mean, Lecker... It doesn't really have any space to move around in. I guess you do have... Lecker could maybe try a similar thing. What's gold workers now? Yeah, it's literally just two players. It's, it's red and it's teal. The only two that have trade remaining. And they have navy. So no one else can really trade well on this map because of those two. Do they play this the best? I just wonder if they're going to make a move on one another at some point. They have to, right? How many has Orange killed? Um, I can look at the KD real quick. Green's just turning on people that are already dead. There's, here's the KD if you want to take a look at it. Gray actually did a really good job. But some of those kills had to be credited due to villager deletions. Yes. Okay. Here goes Teal with a couple vills. Rushing in. Those villagers won't get near the castle. Green's got a whole clump of villagers here. Teal is asking Red if, if Red was good. Red says yes and why. Like, why are you asking? And here come the Kamayooks. Kamiok's exciting, but against one dead villager and exploding villagers, this could be horrible. And green, you just got to make sure that when the villager is deleted, it's next to the units. Yeah, a little unfortunate there on the timing. And the king could go down. Now, you, I think you send out one vill if you're paying attention to this and delete that. But not all of them, because if you send out all of them, it could be a problem. And you could lose your castle. Need a delete here, Green. And there we go. Kamiyooks are gone. Perfect. Suddenly you've defended from the whole situation with just sacrificing a couple lives. Yeah, it definitely doesn't help matters that people haven't gone for archers. Look at this, though, from Orange, guys. Orange sees the navy from Teal, sees the navy from Red, has somehow gone past that cannon galleon, could potentially loop the whole way around with transports and somehow get into their eco with villagers. It would be very tough. 
Uh, Teal's Navy here, unfortunately, could ruin it. Oh, go, 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 Run! Ah! Okay, well, they don't know how to swim. They skipped out on swimming lessons. They're dead. Well, it was a nice attempt. Oh, Green is trying to make it through by taking out the trees. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's a nice technique, but oh. Oh, jeez. I really appreciate this strategy, though. <laughs> I mean, Green has gone through a lot this game. Green is also Huns. So you can't re even research Onager. And Green's like, my only chance is to go this way into someone's base. And I have to sacrifice villager after villager to get there. Red, what's the plan, says Arch. Taking out Green first. Okay, well, I mean, green is barely alive. And orange says, ah. I mean, maybe red is planning on using orange to help. I don't know how much orange can help, but it is a distraction at least. Everyone's going for melee units. So if they get anywhere near villagers, the, the melee units are going to get shredded. Like, archers would be sick. Green trying to stay alive. Rushes in with vils. Okay, and green is going with the king. I think that was a misclick, but it's possible that green has gone too far. Now, if green can see that teal's got villagers here, green could do a lot of damage with, with movement here. Now, it's also possible people think this is exploding kings. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Careful with the king. <laughs> We've been spotted. <laughs> Go. Make the move, quickly! We're going to die anyways. At least die for the cause. Okay, purple villagers finally go down. Just don't do what I've seen someone else do. And, okay, monastery? Um, Quick, kill yourself for the king! Kill yourself for the king! Oh, almost worked! Run! Don't die to a camel. You know how embarrassing that is? Okay, green is dead. Green, honestly, a horrible start for you, of course, because you made that mistake and you didn't know how to resolve it. Very well played. This whole game has just been an absolute mess. Right? I mean, wasn't expecting to see this either. This just looks so funny. It's like they're listening to a sermon before they head out. Everything about this is, is just ridiculous. So, red... It says, taking out green first, work with teal until he is done. Okay. Teal red is going to attack you after green is dead. Oh, interesting. So orange snitches. Yes. And teal says to, you know, the longtime ally, red, stop chopping on my side, please. So suddenly there's a little, there's a lack of trust due to the whole proximity of the situation. I'm a little bummed. Anyone else bummed that Gray died? <laughs> the game is still being entertaining, but I <laughs> I really feel as though if Gray could have stayed alive a little bit longer, it would have been super fun. I get why Orange wanted to do it. Like Gray was about to attack Orange, and Orange would have lost a lot. So it was the right play. Like Gray deserved to, to die, but you know sometimes when people get what they deserve. It just doesn't... It leaves us feeling the wrong way. Okay, so Teal turns on red. So we are now going to see a battle between these two. The armies are going to be Bombard Cannons. Cavalier. Against Treb's Kamayuk. Now, the king for the Incas kind of looks like a retired Kamayuk. He's got the same hat. Look at this. See this? A very similar hat. So... You know, all the unique units look the same, but I'm just concerned that maybe Red will think that the king is a Kamayuk and then lose the king. Oh, God, Treb's just destroyed the Bomber Cannons. What? Holy crap. Yeah, I don't know if you guys knew that, but the kings for the Incas are actually just retired Kamayuks. Okay, Treb's beat Bomber Cannon. Damn. This is still walled, though, so you'd need to either treb this down or build boom this. 
Um, Navy, obviously, happening between these two. Oh, and they're also up in each other's trade here, which is really important. You can still trade with someone after you've turned on them. Um, I, I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of trade left, though. Which actually means, what's their stockpile? Whoa! They're all screwed for gold. Except for orange somehow. But it's only four trade units for teal and three trade units for red. And I doubt that's going to last very long. Hmm. I mean, orange has the benefit, as orange still waits and heals up all these units, orange has the benefit of not being a threat. Say goodbye, fishing ships, by the way. Um, and red. Ooh, red dodges. Very impressive from red. Wasn't expecting that. Also brings in a fishing ship here and deletes it. Sick. Sick. Transports don't explode, right? No. Okay. Red has made progress. The Kamiooks are on the move. Two villagers kills all of this. Is Teal going to recognize that? Teal also may be a little paranoid that there could be an attack coming from this side. Green is, of course, dead, but Orange could do something. And Orange has a transport here, and yet again, it is not going to work. <laughs> I appreciate the fact that Orange is trying, though, and I hope everyone else does as well. Red now going to treb down the castle from Teal. Teal, though, has the navy, which could maybe take out the trebs. But there's quite a few trebs there. I love how Teal's still casually trading to this area. And okay. I think the repair villager just died. Orange says to red, I will try to make navy. Okay. Yeah, red really needs some form of support here. And red has to back away with the trebs. And Teal wants to run through and deleted a villager next to a big group. The Kamiooks would really love to go through. The Villager could do that, though, Red. If you really want to. And there you go. Stay away from the units. Delete. You're through. Nice. Okay. Now, initially, this is going to look very exciting for Red. But if you see these Villagers, you need to head the other way. Now, don't you split. Don't kill them. Oh. Oh, my God. That was actually sick micro. Use the range and run. Yo, we got like peak Viper over here with these Kamiooks. Holy crap, Red. Now you could maybe delete. Oh, geez. The fishing ships are going to help you now too. Yo. Dang, that was sick. Really good value from the Kamiooks. Still got to be careful, of course, because this could get worse. It's still, one villager connects, you have problems, but... That was not how I... Ex ah! <laughs> That was not how I expected that to go. Oh, God. They're faster villagers, too, because it's Berbers. This is really terrifying. <laughs> it's so funny. It's so funny how normal the situation feels now, you know? The llama! No! Red lost the llama! He's had this llama since the Dark Age. Oh, friendly fire, too. Oh, well, it was like Teal somehow stole the llama... And Red said, nah, we just can't, we can't eat that llama now. It's been tainted. We cannot use that llama for support. Oh, no. Oh, God. And look how poor the micro is now that the llama's dead. Ah, uh, the llama was everything. Ah. Uh, jeez, man. Well, what's the vil count right now? Eco count's 47 for Red. It's less than 27 for Teal. Teal's got 21. Um, and, you know, obviously there's just going to be more villagers coming out here to go kill Kamiooks. <laughs> Red, I mean, in all fairness, Red's initial micro was insane. I don't think expecting that from him all the time is a little ambitious. Um. Oh! oh God. Orange said navy earlier, and here comes Orange with a massive navy. So Teal has to... Oh! Teal has to defend here and also defend on water. God, these explosions are sick. I love how the players have adapted, too. I feel like the players didn't realize how good the explosions were at the start. 
but have since figured it out. And another villager goes down. A couple trebs go down. Scouts are going to show up to finish off the rest, just as we all expected. And here comes the navy. The navy that is missing crucial upgrades. But the numbers are pretty high. And oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Orange is here. Okay. Now, will Orange send in one unit at a time? Or is Orange just going to go, Rawr! like it's Serious Sam with 30 villagers at once? Because... If you go with all those villagers, this is not going to be good for you, Arch. You're going to lose one on the front of the group, and then all the ones behind it are going to explode. Oh, no. Oh, Orange is using the... Oh, wow. Orange is using the navy to distract. Okay. The king is in that castle, guys. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Disaster. <laughs> Disaster. <laughs> and Orange loses the Navy. And Orange loses the Villagers. And we all know what Orange was trying to do. It's just, you gotta have, you gotta know the potential. And Orange not really too pleased with the situation. Says, I suck. Red says, you're good. And Teal Defense. So Teal holds on, and Teal's strategy has been just trickle in a villager at a time. Because one villager is enough. So still anyone's guess as to who wins this, because Orange had gold, but now Orange has lost a lot of that gold with the Navy. None of them have any trade. They, there's zero trade. Um, I guess Teal has more food? And more wood? But, like, Teal's gonna be making scouts. I Actually, you know what? Teal having navy and red not having any is a big deal here. Because all of this can be ranged by cannon galleons. Okay, here comes here comes that army we talked about earlier. And uh, Teal's navy's headed this way. No patrol for Teal, but Teal sees this now. And, oh, jeez. Oh, no. It doesn't get better for you, Lecker. It doesn't get better. Run away! Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Okay. Over here, action continues. Not even the light cap upgrade right now for Fravim. Fravim doesn't have the gold for that, but what Fravim does have is three bomber cannons and a dream. Still has the navy. They are all struggling for population right now. They are both at, like... Or all three of them are probably at, like, 60 pop. This is bad. Let's see. Red's pop... 56 villagers. And then, I don't know, maybe some vills inside the TC. Maybe a Kamioke or two. Maybe the king. Orange actually... Like, look at the eco count. It's so bad. Red is 65. Orange is 22. Teal is 15. So if Teal were to lose these Bombard Cannons, I think Teal can not can never make more of them. Micro really matters now. I mean, eventually people just run out of steam, but they might not be able to kill each other. So it might come down to whoever has the most self-belief here. Okay, Teal still pushing, but the Kamiyoks are enough to force this back. The Kamiyoks will advance. There's villagers inside of this TC. That's the way to do it. Kill the villagers if you're using that cannon galleon. Orange actually has more navy. Green calls the GG, like, 20 minutes after the game ends. I didn't realize Orange had more Navy on the way. That does change things. Maybe this game gets to a point... What's the food count like for Orange now? Four on food? Oh, God. Um, You know, maybe this game gets to a point where... Oh, Red's got a little bit of Navy. Where it's just, like, a three-way tie. Like a draw of some kind. But what Red and Orange should try and do, and Red's actually trying now, is try and trade out here. And if you can get away with that, which they actually might be able to now, because Orange's, uh, Teal's Navy, rather, is really small, then they'll be fine. It's just... Oh, uh, actually, Orange is here, guys. Orange is here. Teal continues to sacrifice Vils, but I think we've established Teal doesn't actually have that many villagers to sacrifice. And the castle's halfway down! The castle is halfway down. This Bombard Cannon gets sniped. There's the king. 
And the king does not explode, funnily enough. So Teal is going to run. And... Okay! Off to see the world one last time before being defeated is Teal. Who sits at 15 army. And, uh... So horrible eco. 12. Green's castle should kill that, I think? Does Arn see that? It's it's weird. The fog of war gets kind of bugged. Arn's <laughs> just sending a message. Okay. King gets hit once. One more hit. And Teal is out of the game. And... Uh, and... And... Oh my god. And... Hey, there we go. Who needs a bomber cannon when you have a suicidal villager? Well played, Arn's. Never doubted you the whole time. Orange smiles at Red and says, Lecker. And Red says, well, good luck. And now they're going to fight each other. And this could go either way. Red's got more villagers. So that's good. I mean, that's really, really, really good. Unless somehow someone comes out over here and changes that. But when you're in the corner, it's kind of hard for that to ever change. Uh, Red does have more navy. That could maybe affect some things over here. And, uh... Aren't just gonna have to recalibrate, figure things out. Nine gold workers for red, as red is stealthily trading over here. But, I mean, it's not that stealthy. It's in an area that orange could probably notice if orange were to look. Oh, it's gonna go right through orange's... Okay, so he's making trade from these docks, but trade will always go to the furthest possible dock. And so the trade is going right through Orange's navy. But Orange hasn't turned on red yet. Orange, this is a 1v1 now. You can't let this gold get back to the enemy. That's 116 gold per trip. Oh, no. <laughs> Lecker Feetson. And now red allies, Orange? Out of confusion? Maybe sensing an opportunity here to for the trade to pay off? I mean, doesn't this castle still attack stuff, though? Isn't this still a horrible idea? Okay. <laughs> and now Orange turns on Red. So this is just the most confusing thing. And then Teal tries to... Uh, Red tries to ally Teal, but that's not how it works. If Teal was enemy to you and Teal died, it doesn't mean Teal's castle stops attacking you. And... Orange says, I don't have much. Do you want to resign? What? <laughs> I don't have much. Do you want to resign? Red's like, no. Why would I do that? Do you? That's not the way to say it. You have to be like, I have more than you can handle. This game will go on for hours if you try and defeat me. Orange says, I killed four people. Fair. Fair. Sneaky kills, too. So, no. Ooh, okay. And this is where you go, and it's about to be five. Only, I wouldn't actually say that because I don't see any realistic chance you actually do that. Draw, question mark? Teal's Bomber Cannon getting some kills here. Oh, God. Oh, man, that could have been bad. The red doesn't seem interested in conversation at the moment. Here's the navy. The red says, how are we going to draw? <laughs> red must know something's coming here. Doesn't see the transport yet. But you really just need to send one villager at the, the crew of villagers from Orange and you could be okay. I mean, red's cameo's going down is a pretty big deal. And he doesn't have any trade anymore. And here goes Orange on a bombing run. The villagers are on the move. They will obviously die. It's just, do they kill other things upon their death? And no. Red's got the double castle stack here. Like, Red is in a really good spot to survive. And I think this game would... If they... Like, if I put a trillion dollars on the line, which, newsflash, I don't have, this game would never end. Like, this game would go on for the next three weeks. And I think Arndt realizes that, like, this is just going to take so long for you to kill me. It's going to take so long for 
me to kill you. Um, Orange is in a good position to have water control, right? Because if you have that water control, you can trade your way back into the game. So I do not actually think Orange is in a worse position. Yes, Orange has less villagers, but you could sell some of that wood, sell some of that food, and then trade with one of the dead player's docks and actually be okay. But yeah, this would take a really long time. Orange ends up calling it, and that was just a ridiculous game where crazy things were happening around every turn. You know, I did my best to explain. I, I explained that, you know, there's no stone and gold that you need to use the market, that trade is important. Um, I did explain that if the villagers are lined up, it could lead to some bad situations. I even reminded people that fishing ships explode. But it feels like, you know, when I reminded people how the game mode works, some people initially took it as an invitation to, to do it all the time. Like, blue was just bombing people with fishing ships <laughs> gray missed the part <laughs> about the market and I, again i think we established why i think gray realized didn't think maybe goths could make a market um you need to make a mill before it allows you to make a market which is kind of a weird thing in this game but yeah just a wild wild game uh yeah orange technically killed five people that's a fair point right because orange ended up offing himself there uh good game though <clears throat> Good game. Lots of fun action throughout. They were all ready to Diplo. They all wanted to go crazy with diplomacy, but the settings just didn't allow a normal Diplo game. Wow. Um, so I'm wondering how the stats work. Like, is every death also associated with a kill? I think it might be. But if it's not, I guess someone could add up the amount of kills and add up the amount of deaths and see if there's a difference. And that could maybe tell us all the deaths... It happens due to explosions. Um, there is the res collected. I mean, look how important the trade profit was. It was it was important, but all, honestly, just keeping villagers protected. Red keeping those villagers protected. Here, it's easier to see the stats. Like, I think was the key to Red's longevity in that game. It's just so much more wood than anyone, and there was no way for anyone to sneak in and kill Red's woodline with the positioning that Red had here uh, behind the castle stack. A yellow was kind of going for that, but then yellow got attacked before yellow was able to get there. Um, see, just a couple other stats here if there were any. <laughs> Blue, zero trade profit, great, zero trade profit. Still pretty decent KDs overall. The best KD, though, was for Teal with 668 kills and 373 units lost. So, uh, well played to the players. Hope everybody enjoyed. Hope it was a good time. You can see here, with the drops of pops, the drops of pops. Wow. When the biggest explosions happened. It's kind of fun to see that. And uh, if you're watching later on on YouTube and would like to see more Exploding Villagers content, let me know. This one was pretty chaotic. But yeah, uh, not going to lie. Like, the map itself is legendary. And it actually produces some really good games. But the Exploding Villagers aspect is, is why I did it. And I just, I did it for the moments where one person deletes a villager and then a hundred units die. Oh, just, just perfect. So, uh, good game, everybody.